Okay, I wanted to confirm my no charge issue. Um, so, I step on the brake. Yeah, we're not getting a charge. So, we're going to go down the rabbit hole. So, first thing I'm going to do is check these two fuses. Um, might as well do the easy stuff first. And then, uh, and then somebody mentioned the stator, and that's fairly easy to check. It's that blue connector right there, and I can come across it to make sure I'm getting my AC voltage out of the engine. So, let me dig into it. All right, we're going to test the stator. And uh, having the old wiring harness makes this uh, a lot easier. I just went and found the old plug. I got wired into the multimeter. We are set on AC. So let me turn this thing over and see what happens. Yeah. 30 plus volts coming out of that stator. So On to the next test. Okay, so here's the voltage regulator. And when I got this thing, this connector was, the white wire was completely fried off of it. So this white wire comes out of the voltage regulator and it goes up through the fuse and it comes back down. And this was my fix. I didn't have the same gauge wire, so I doubled up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this connector and just make sure I've got continuity from this white wire to the positive terminal, because there still may be a problem with that. So let me go dig in there and pull that connector. So that regulator's had a hard life. This is the old connector. And as you can see, the, uh, the positive wire has gotten melted really severely. The ground wire used to be there. It is gone. Stator wires look sort of okay. I think that's because it was against the white wire. But, but yeah, that, uh, that regulator has been abused. So eh, I want to go price one, see what I'm up against. All right, so one last test is I'm across the uh, stator leads on the uh, regulator plug, and I'm going to crank it up and just see if I'm getting stator voltage to the regulator. Uh, let me see what we've got. thinking it's the regulator. Okay, just to recap, here's the alternator. We verified we've got output all the way to the regulator. The regulator on the green wire comes directly back to through the 30 amp fuse. We verified that's good. This connection here was the one that I had to repair. We verified that connection is good to the battery. And I wanted to verify that the ignition switch, which is over here, has nothing to do with the charging circuit. The only thing I can figure is this brown wire, which I highlighted in yellow, comes back to the regulator. Uh, I'm not sure what that does, but it, it's definitely switched on at the ignition switch. So I may s verify that that connection between the brown and the white wire is made on the ignition switch before I order that regulator. All right, let me go check that. 
Okay, so I disconnected the ground. I've got my meter connected between the white wire and the brown wire, which shows it goes to the ignition switch. So, on, off, on, off. Ignition switch is good. So, it's got to be the regulator.